What's up guys, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Destiny Hero Celestial, I believe the card was revealed yesterday. And um, this is actually an amazing card for Destiny Heroes. It has two separate effects, regular monster level 4, 1600 attack, which is okay. Its uh, first effect is that when this uh, card declares an attack, you can target one face-up spell. So face up and the spell card from the opponent and destroy it. And you'll, your opponent will also get 500 damage. That's okay against Pendulum decks. Okay, that's, that's all fine and dandy. But the second effect, second effect is basically a pot of greed. When your Celestial is in your graveyard, except the turn when it was sent to the graveyard. But uh, with this deck, very easy. It, it, on its own, it's a Destiny hero, so discardable by Destiny draw. Also, Beatrice and uh, Foolish Burial can send this card easy to the grave. But uh, outside of that first turn, you can banish your Celestial and one other Destiny hero monster from your grave to draw two cards. One minor restriction, one small restriction, is that you, uh, do, yeah, you don't need to have a hand. So no hand, no cards in your hand, and then you can use Celestial. So you can like have a full board, full field, doesn't matter if you have no cards cards in your hand you can banish your celestial and one d hero to draw two cards that's fantastic let's see a few example games all right first of all and uh light swarms uh well minerva swarms i get to start so immediately hero lives at three in the deck this is basically the almost the same version as the one i played a couple of weeks ago and uh this is actually a legit deck the resonators and uh, the heroes it resonators also trigger your shadow mist to get to search and you know dark law is basically um mvp against pretty much every deck well in this case of course light swarm we know but uh other videos uh, all the matches here. ABCs, definitely one of the bigger decks coming out soon. I believe somewhere in October. Dark Law is just clutch against, this, yeah, against uh, that deck. And the uh, Coral Dragon is also coming out. Level 6 tuner, a smaller Brio neck instantly opening up a possibility. Uh, they had the possibility of going for Tsalkin next to Malicious. And also the new Pot. Pot of Avidity is also so, so good in this deck. It lets you reuse Malicious, uh, your banished Malicious, your banished Plague. Um, interrupt an opponent's play, you know, with Cosmos sending back those banished ships. Um, excellent card. But this, this second game was actually a nice game he gets to start and he goes derp you know souls the one of soul charge of course they always have it minerva um all those draws and he also has a turtle in his grave but this is my first turn of course and destiny draw okay armageddon knight foolish burial the shadow mist shadow mist search out the celestial possibly for next turn go for northern instant fusion in three of here in the deck northern is again such a great card in here instantly open up a possible synchro play and also revive the level 2 tuner. Go for Tzolkin, not going to use its effect just yet. Go for Stardust, Charge, Warrior, and use Avidity. Big top deck, send back those Malicious. So again, use those Malicious. It's like the, the, the third or the fourth one. Not really sure, but uh, yeah, again, Special Summon Plague. Um, go for Void Ogre, indeed. Go for Dark Law, so bypass the Honest, possible Honest, which should be at 2 in the deck. And um, yeah, of course, thanks to Crystal Wing, which was summoned off of Tzolkin. I can negate the turtle during the battle phase and now I can instantly attack for a game. So I didn't think after that first turn I would win this one, but um, Avidity, Malicious and uh, the whole clan is, is uh, a little, little uh, too uh, good in this uh, case. Uh, next game against ABC's opponent has an okay hand. Uh, the field spell with uh, the seed tuner, uh, the galaxy soldier. So um, yeah, if he... If he if my opponent started here, he would have also ended with Infinity and... Uh, no, the Treasures was indeed his sixth uh, card. Anyway, go for Beatrice. Beatrice is definitely one of you in the extra decks since, uh, for example, during your opponent's turn, you can use Beatrice Foolish Burial, the effect to send your Celestial from your deck to the grave. And then during your own turn, you can use Celestial's Grave effect to draw two cards. But during this game, I believe, I, like, blanked out, had a little more, more attention for Pokemon Go. <laughs> I'm playing it like, like... Like a beast that um, I think I four mistakes for misplays also used my um, my call dragon uh, to try to pop his monster, but you know the A when it's attached that attached monster uh, in this case B will be unaffected by your opponent's monster effects, and he also should have attacked or waited with my Zolkin and also should not have attacked it with. Uh, I also shouldn't have, uh, have attacked with my Utopia. Uh, again, possibly negate. 
and to be later. But in this case, it's not going to matter too much. But again, just to showcase the possibilities and the combos. So first turn, Twin Twister the back row against uh, the Spirals. Um, his hand is decentish. Okay, he does have Drone to stack the top cards of my deck. He knows that I'm going to draw Malicious, but he doesn't have a follow-up play. He doesn't have the Super Agent, the level 4, and um, eventually I'm going to tribute for Malicious since I do have Celestial in my grave. I can use the effect, but Malicious is still live, so I'm going to wait for next turn um, to possibly go for another malicious maybe make beatrice and so on draw another mass change and just in case of valor um, or make c any kind of hand trap go for the second dark law so use the first one for beatrice and now i get the engine going again for avidity and um, yeah that's why i like this deck so much it's fun um, has a lot of plays synchro plays exceed like plays uh, instant fusion at three a lot hero lifts at three um Everything is basically at 3 also the resonators. Again, go for Tzolkin. MVP in this deck. And eventually, after all those malicious reuses, I can attack for a game. So, last game of the duel. Um, I can start Hero Lifts. Again, the possibility to go for Dark Lar. Runs into uh, the Failure. Okay, no big deal. If the opponent started here, he would have been in a very good position to use um, the draw to stay the top uh, three cards of my deck. Maybe go for uh, Machine Duplication. Then go for like one or two rank one exceeds. Maybe, what's it called? That Sprout to get one or two draw. Um, but anyway, I got to start again. This is actually a nice. It's not too hard to make. Um, yeah, first, of course, to make your Tzolkin, but if you can follow it up with uh, Beatrice, well, Malicious is a 3, so it's not really too hard. Instant Fusion is a nuts in this deck. Um, you can spam this kind of field. Again, Beatrice during my opponent's turn. Go for Mass Change for Dark Lord to trigger the Shadow Mist and to during my own turn. Yeah, of course, search out the Diamond Dude, which will be a target. Uh, which I wanted to discard with Coral Dragon to pop the back row, but he does have Mind Crush, which is okay. So banish Celestial with the Diamond 2 to draw two cards, and it's not going to matter too much. But the new Celestial, um, this is actually one of the better Destiny, uh, the, yeah, Destiny Hero support they are getting. The other ones aren't really too great, so two of this in the deck is excellent, I think. Um, Foolish can send it to the grave together with Beatrice, and uh, it's also another target to search off of your Shadow Mist, and also a target for Destiny Draw, which is now, I think, definitely a staple at three in the deck okay guys feel free to leave suggestions and um yeah thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video meet him signing out peace